Welcome to Log 10 for iPhone, iPad, and Apple Watch. This video will give you a quick tour of some of the key features Log 10 has to help you take control of your flight time for your whole aviation career. We'll cover Log 10's one tap configuration, which configures your logbook automatically based on the type of flying you do, how to log your flight time, logging nighttime and approaches, differentiating commercial operations, digitally signing your logbook, using Log 10's Analyze and Plan tabs to fully analyze your data and stay safe in the air, backing up your logbook, and last but not least, generating and printing stunning reports. Feel free to use the chapters in the description to jump to the section most relevant to your needs. When you first open Log 10 and set up your account, you'll be asked to set your typical role. This will automatically configure your logbook to include the most common information for that role. For this example, we'll choose Airline First Officer. Of course, this is just a starting point and you can fully customize Log 10 to your flying. We'll start by showing you how to change any settings you want to in your logbook by tapping Account and then Settings. In the My Logbook section, you choose your typical role. You can also add pay rates, and as we're flying reserve, we'll set these rates now. We can also set all new flights as pilot flying and set when Log 10 should autofill landings. Going back to settings and opening time calculations, we suggest using out in to calculate total time so that Log 10 can automatically track your night time. You can set which times you want to autofill. When we tap on this, you'll notice that because we chose airline first officer as our role, Log 10 is autofilling IFR, night, SIC, and cross country. Show clock auto fill buttons is defaulted to on, which gives you quick one tap options for entering places and times. You can also enter duty and flight duty time defaults here. Back to settings again and tapping on display options, you can set your preferences on the look and feel of Log 10. You can also turn on Log 10's advanced FAR 117 limit tracking feature by turning show FAR 117 limits to on. A video covering this more advanced feature is linked in the description. Now you're ready to log your first flight. You have a few options to log a flight. If you have an Apple Watch, you can use Log 10's Fly Now feature. On iPhone or iPad, at any time in Log 10, you can simply tap the New Entry button to log a flight. Or for this example, we'll go to the Logbook tab. This is the main dashboard for your logbook, and you can access it from anywhere on Log 10 for iPhone by double tapping the Logbook menu. It gives you all the key features you need to keep track of your flying, certificates, export reports and graphs, with over 100 to choose from, and create specific backups you need. But don't worry, backups are also automatic. To start with, let's input our name in the People section so that all reports come out with our full name at the top. Tap on People, then Self, change the name and add any further details you want, including a picture. Now we'll go back and tap Flights and Duties to log a new flight. Here you can see we've already got a few flights logged to illustrate the different coloring in Log 10. Orange indicates an upcoming flight. Schedules can be imported from multiple airlines on Log 10 for Mac, or there are many third-party apps you can use for this. Gray indicates a flight that has been flown and locked. Black is a flight that has been flown and is still editable. You'll also notice that our support team is on standby to help you import any existing flight data you have from another logbook app, Excel spreadsheet, or they can help guide you through entering a balance forward from your paper logbook. A video for this is also included in the description. Now let's enter a new flight by hitting the plus button in the top right. A quick scroll through shows you the fields that are being tracked. As mentioned earlier, I fly reserve and I want to track my pay, so I'll add these fields to the duty section now as they are not on by default. To add or remove any fields, just tap the actions button in the top right. Here you can also see multiple options for quicker data entry including next leg, return trip, and duplicate flight. You can also have a flight sign from here and share the flight with a crew member so only one person has to log the flight. For now, we'll tap configure fields and then tap configure section in the duty section and turn duty, flight, scheduled rates, as well as total earnings on. You'll notice there are literally hundreds of fields you can add to Log 10, including custom fields to track exactly the data you want to track for the flying you do. Also worth noting is that any fields that are turned off when not needed keep the data entered previously. It simply isn't displayed in your logbook any longer. Now that we're back in the flight logging view, you'll notice that the date automatically defaults to today and will correspond to whatever time zone preference you selected in settings. 
If you selected commercial pilot, airline pilot, or airline first officer roles on startup, the entry type field is automatically turned on. This allows you not only to log flights, but also types of work duties like positioning, non-flying, simulator duty, reserve, and so on. Next, you can enter the flight number, and then we have aircraft ID. When you tap in this field, you can select recently used aircraft found at the top in green, or you can search for an aircraft. Let's add a new aircraft that we haven't flown before for this entry by hitting the plus button in the top right. Enter the ID, then search and choose the type from Log10's database. But wait a second, what if it's a simulator? For this case, you will likely not want to include sim time in with total time, so you need to create a sim type. Let's say it's a B737 sim. We type B737 sim in the search, then tap on Create Entry, then tap the I in the Type field and choose Category Simulator. We don't fill in any other fields. Then, going back to the Flight Detail view, we scroll down to the Time section and we could enter the Sim Time in the Simulator field. For today, we're not in a sim, so we swipe left and clear those fields so we can track our flight in a B767. Enter the aircraft ID, which for this example is an aircraft we've already set up in Log10, and you'll notice that the aircraft type automatically fills in. Next, you'll select a departure and destination airport. If you have location services on, you can simply tap the button, or tap the field and either choose from the list of recents, favorites, or you can search the onboard database of over 30,000 airports by ICAO or IATA identifiers. If you've imported your schedule from Log10 Pro for Mac, you'll see that time here. You can then tap Now on Engine Start for your out time, and again on Engine Stop at your destination for the in time. Total time will be automatically calculated as is night time, which uses a powerful algorithm based on your departure and arrival GPS locations, the Great Circle route, and actual sunrise and sunset times to ensure your nighttime is calculated as accurately as possible. You can enter your on and off duty time as well as your FTP start and end times, and Log10 will then automatically calculate your total duty, rest before duty, providing you've entered these details in your previous flight, and total FTP. Moving down, you'll see that you can add crew members by tapping on the appropriate position and selecting from your people records, Day and night takeoffs and landings will be automatically entered for you based on your out in times, and you can always alter these manually. With Log10, you can turn on as many as 10 different approach types per flight. Again, simply tap on the Actions button, Configure Fields, then on Configure section in the Operations section, and add the number of approach fields you'd like. Each approach field allows you to log the total number of approaches, the type of approach, the runway, and the place that the approach occurred. Heading back to the flight details, we can enter any remarks or other information in the notes section, and voila! Congratulations on logging your first flight. For students, you can also have an instructor digitally sign your logbook. Simply send the flight to your instructor when complete by tapping the Actions button, then Share, and sharing it with them via email, text, airdrop, or other preference. The instructor can then hit the Actions button, choose Sign Flight, follow the prompts to sign the flight, and send it back to you. Log10 will even automatically switch dual given to dual received and vice versa. Back in the flight list view, you can also tap the calendar icon to see your past and future flights in the calendar view. Next, let's look at the Analyze tab. Analyze gives you a quick snapshot of all your log time, and by tapping on any of the logbook groups, you can see key information about your flight time. Let's tap the All Entries field, which gives us a breakdown of all our flying. Note that the times displayed in the Analyze view are based on what fields you have visible in the Detail view of your flight entries. Times and types are also displayed here. Want to see your flying on a map? Tap the My World View map icon to see all your flights for that particular logbook group on the world map. Back in Analyze, we see Log10's Smart Group section. This is one of the most powerful features in Log10, enabling you to filter and track anything you want to in your logbook. The Log10 team have even set up downloadable groups to help you track progress to your PPL, ATPL, as well as tracking aviation authority limits specific to your country. Follow the link in the description below this video to learn more. In this logbook, we've downloaded the ATP smart group. Tapping on the arrow shows us how close we are to each of the requirements. Another cool analyzed feature for CFIs is the ability to track all of your students. Currencies and limits are also automatically tracked in the Analyze tab. 
Again, more resources covering this feature are linked in the description, including a video on how to set up your own smart groups. Need help setting up a group? Don't hesitate to contact our fantastic support team directly from Log10 by tapping Contact Support under the Account menu. Next, we have Log10's Plan tab, which displays quick view information for your currency, rest, duty limits, and expiring certificates. At the top, we have Log10's industry-first dynamic time loop feature, which enables pilots to see in real time their currency and limits information, including duty and rest limits. You can easily scroll back and forward in time to see your past and future by sliding left and right in the time loop bar. And when you input your schedule, Log10 will automatically monitor all your limits, currencies, and certificates, and will warn you of any upcoming issues. Schedule import for over 100 airlines is available in Log10 Pro for Mac. You'll remember that we turned on FAR 117 limits when we started this video. You'll see this feature displayed here. To set it up, we recommend watching the video linked in the description below. Of course, one of the most important things you'll want to ensure is that your logbook is protected, and Log10's backup functionality provides the ultimate safeguard for your valuable flight data. Every action is automatically backed up inside your Log10 account. You can also create manual backups, hit the plus button in the top right, then tap the backup and rename it appropriately. To restore, simply swipe to the right and tap Restore. Let's head over to the Logbook tab and take a look at Reports. Log10 comes with over 100 built-in high-quality reports. In the Overview section, you'll find Experience Reports, Summaries, Duties and Limits, and Graphs. The Logbook section enables you to present your data using the official formats of most major countries, as well as general, non-country specific logbooks. The More section includes certificates, exporters with various options for exporting your data, and if you create any of your own custom reports, the My Reports section will pop up with these reports here. Tap on the report you want, follow the prompts to generate the report, and then you can save it as a PDF and share it via airdrop, text, or email. And if you've hit the limit on Log10's free trial time and want to subscribe, you can do it right in Log10 by tapping Store under the Account menu. Now that you've had a glimpse of just how much you can do with Log10, it's time to start logging. And of course, if you have any questions about these or indeed any other features in Log10, please don't hesitate to contact our fantastic support team direct from Log10 by tapping Contact Support under the Account menu. For more Log10 tips and tutorials, subscribe to the Log10 channel or click another video to keep watching now.